Guys, it's that time of the week again. Welcome back to the Planet Football YouTube channel. And I'm very excited to jump into today's reaction. Now, we've already done a few reactions on the channel so far of some Barcelona legends. You know, we've reacted to Ronaldinho, R9, Ronaldo, Laudrup, Michael Laudrup, we reacted to, who I believe played with the player that we're going to be reacting to today. But today, we are going to be checking out Haristo Stoichkov. Thinking back to that Laudrup reaction that we did on the channel, I remember them speaking about Stoichkov and how he was at Barcelona at the same time as well. So I'm very interested to sort of jump into this one and see just what he had to offer. We're on quite the hot streak at the moment on the channel in terms of reacting to some really quite iconic, you know, forwards. Last time we reacted to Maradona, so the bar is set at an all-time high, but I'm sure that Stoichkov isn't going to disappoint. As always, if you're going to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and carry on getting your suggestions for other players that you'd like to see me reacting to on the channel in future weeks. So without any further ado, let's jump into this one and see just what Stoichkov has to offer. I do like especially reacting to some of the like Barcelona legends of the past of this sort of era because it was a team that just you know absolutely captivated me around the sort of 90s and things like that the football they were playing and that the spine of the team they had around that time nice finish from the offset so we've obviously gone for a compilation for today's reaction, but I know from previously watching um, the Michael Laudrup video that we did, just how important Stoichkov was around this sort of time in terms of Barcelona's success that they went to have. So, yeah, very interesting to see what sort of player he was. Oh, lovely chip. Runs off the last defender very well, noticing that already. That burst of pace that he's got just to take him away from anyone. <laughs> Slamming finish. Yeah, it's interesting, on a couple of these clips so far, it sort of waits for the goalkeeper to commit themselves first. In the air as well, he's a threat. Wow, getting really low for that one. Oh, how did he squeeze it in there? Yeah, he's going to finish them sort of chances all day. Nice. Okay, that's what I wanted to see a little bit of as well, the sort of dribbling ability and what he could do on the ball, as well as that sort of poacher's instinct, and he's obviously got that. Oh. Yeah, he's got brilliant speed, but that understanding of where everyone else is on the pitch in terms of defenders, goalkeepers, doesn't even have to look at them at times, it's just all instinct. Oh. You've got to appreciate a goal like that. So nonchalant and just so effortless, it seems, as well. That sort of finish, isn't it? Oh, and again, might be a bit of a trademark of his. This oh, again, though, does that little dummy wants the goalkeeper to commit to it? As soon as he sees you off his line, he's got you. Always love a good free kick as well. So yeah, another left footer in today's video, which is interesting. Oh, keeper maybe because I've done a bit better than that one. Mm. Lovely finish. Oh. <laughs> Ah, 
Yeah, all the bits that I've seen from like this Barcelona team around this sort of era. Um, Rivaldo, or I think he was a little bit later than this, but we did a reaction to him on the channel as well. He was a load of fun. Oh my god, yeah, he really can slam these free kicks in though, can't he? Oh! <laughs> Oh, these types of goals are absolutely lovely as well. Oh. That's really impressive actually, the way he's falling onto that one. You just can't commit yourself to come off the line if you're a goalkeeper, can you? Because he waits, he waits, he waits and then he gets you. Even sometimes you think he's waited too long and the chance has gone, but... Yeah, every type of finish. I don't know much else about the rest of his career. I know sort of what um, he was like around the sort of Barcelona time by looking into other players that we've you know reacted to on the channel previously and things like that. But elsewhere in his career, and sort of internationally, I'm not 100% aware. Oh, that was a lovely finish. So I'll have to sort of check into that after the video. But I mean, you can't not be impressed by you know the quality of some of these goals. <laughs> yeah, he's quite happy to play on either side is what I'm noticing as well. A lot of the goals sort of coming from the left hand side like this where he'll you know absolutely rifle it in to the back of the net like that, but a lot of off the right hand side as well. That's an unbelievable finish, that isn't it? No chance of goalkeepers stopping that. But then, yeah, we've also got you know goals like this of him coming in from the right hand side as well, which is interesting. Lovely little give and go, and then ah, oh, comes across it. A few of them sort of finishes as well, just sort of under the goalkeeper. Gives him the eyes like that, doesn't he? And they just wait for them to commit a little bit. I've noticed that more about him than probably any other player that we've reacted to on the channel here. That sort of instinct of waiting for the goalkeeper to go before you make your move, it's really interesting. Quite unique as well, I'd say. Adjusts his body brilliantly, touch is excellent, and then yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll get stuck in the top corner. I imagine he was the sort of player as well that the opposition, like beforehand, had you know put a couple players on as well. He has that sort of aura about him in the final third, doesn't he? But even if he's got two, three men on him, he wriggles his way out and he's always got the finish, hasn't he? Number eight as well. It's an interesting number for a sort of forward, isn't it? You usually associate that one with, you know, maybe number 10 or someone like that, a little bit deeper in the number eight role, but... Wow, very interesting compilation there.
But guys, there we have it. That will wrap it up for today's reaction. I've just had a little bit of a dive into his Wikipedia page to sort of have a bit of a deeper dive into sort of what he achieved and things like that. Countless titles with Barcelona, obviously won the Champions League with them. Uh, Ballon d'Or winner in 1994 as well. Five-time Bulgarian Footballer of the Year award. And loads of, you know, golden boots and top scorer awards and things like that. If any of you guys were sort of around during his prime, let me know your memories of him in the comments down below and continue to get all your other suggestions for footballers that you'd like to see me reacting to on the channel. Apart from that though guys, that will now wrap up for today's video and I'll see you all in this next one next week.